Latest now on the dozens of UMass Amherst students who were arrested during a pro-Palestinian sit-in last week on campus. The last group of them were arraigned on trespassing charges this morning at Belchertown District Court. And Western Mass News reporter Daniel Santiago caught up with some of them and joins us now live in studio. Daniel, what did those students have to say? Well, Chris, Abby, some of these students say they're willing to continue taking action until UMass Amherst Chancellor Reyes hears them out and works to grant their demands. The more people we have behind us, the stronger we are. Almost a week ago on Wednesday, students at UMass Amherst protested outside and inside the Whitmore administration building on campus, asking for a meeting with the university chancellor, Javier Reyes, regarding the school stance on Israel's war with Hamas. They want the university to part ways with organizations they say profit from war and would like the chancellor to make a public statement in support of Palestinian, Arab, Jewish and Muslim students at UMass who have been impacted by what's going on in Israel and Gaza. We're fighting for a UMass that like stands for what it says it stands for and we're fighting for a UMass that like puts people before profit. Like the whole Massachusetts system on their website they said we're harnessing the revolutionary spirit of Massachusetts and we want to put out into the world a positive social and economic impact. And we don't think that's possible if the university is partnering with war profiteers. The 57 students arrested and charged with trespassing appeared before a Belchertown district court in judge in groups, the last of them doing so on Tuesday. They all pleaded not guilty. Some of them stayed to speak with Western Mass News, and they say they appreciate the support they've received from many others in the school community. It's inspiring, um, and it brings us hope. Um, we know that we can win and that we will win. Um, we have the power um, of the students um, and many of the faculty, and that's something we are excited um, and ready to use to our advantage. They also have support from the community, some even showing up in court like Emily Green. A lot of the groups that I'm a part of, Racial Justice Rising, Greening Greenfield, um, Trap Rock Peace and Justice um, Group, um, that we are the community that the students are going to come into. And um, so we are trying very hard in all of these different groups to put on programs to educate people. They are our future and we are totally wanting to see a better world for them to come out into. We reached out to UMass Amherst today for a response to the students' demands, and while we're still waiting to hear back, they did share a statement with us last week that reads in part, the protesters' specific demands do not align with the university's publicly stated positions and policies. Reporting live in studio, Daniel Santiago, Western Mass News.